the process. So uh, President Cruzado appointed the, the committee, the search committee, and we went to work. We did a national uh, RFP for a search firm to help us with this very important search. Um, through that process, Parker Executive Search out of Atlanta, Georgia was selected. Um, they are the tops in their field, and Daniel Parker has been helping us um, through this process. Their role is to make sure that we have the best pool of candidates available. So we have lots of Bobcat fans that sent me lots of recommendations. We forwarded those, but then the search firm also knows people in the industry that may or may not have even been looking for a job currently or specifically at Montana State, but that had a lot of potential and uh, brought those folks into the pool as well. So it's very important that we had uh, an excellent um, choices of candidates. So we, the search committee has gone through a, a large list of people. We've done an initial round of interviews with semi-finalists. And this week we have our five finalists on campus. It's just very, very exciting. And all of this has happened in the last three weeks. So it's, uh, it's been a, a quick process, but a very thorough one. So at this time, I would like to uh, welcome Mike uh, Matt Weisnett from Wyoming to tell us a little bit about himself. We're not going to do a Q&A, but after this is over, uh, we'll just do a sort of meet and greet and let him work the crowd and you can work him, ask questions. I mean, he's here um, and we're, we're recruiting him and uh, he's, he's checking us out, right? So that's, that's the way it works. Matt. Well, thank you. Well, let me hold it. Um, just a real quick kind of a bio, I know some of you have that in your hands, but kind of a little background on me. Um, born and raised in Northern Virginia from, from Manassas, uh, went to school at East Tennessee State for my undergrad and grad, uh, played football there, uh, was off to Ohio State for a couple of years, uh, work on all my classes for my, for my doctorate, which uh, I didn't finish, that I hear about, even at 43, my parents still talk to me all the time about, you didn't finish your doctorate, go finish it. Um, got married, um, so I moved down to Tulane. I worked at Tulane for about six months um, and then got the call from Wyoming. And so that was January of 02. So uh, January of 02, I was hired by the University of Wyoming. The AD at the time was uh, Lee Boone. Um, Lee had come from Marshall where he was the AD. Lee is now the AD at North Florida. Um, a few years later, he left and Gary Barta, who's now the AD at Iowa, was our AD. And for the past seven, eight years, Tom Berman has been our AD. So I've had three different bosses with uh, three different leadership styles that I've learned a lot from. Uh, during that time, I've had uh, five different promotions, or now I'm currently with the Deputy AD, uh, which my coaches like to say, Dad. So I am, uh, I am the guy that uh, they go to when there's issues or concerns. Um, you know, basically what that's a fancy title of is everything internally, externally kind of goes through me. So I have my hands in everything, which is just one of the things I love about the job. Um, it's afforded me a lot of experiences and opportunities, um, whether that's internal, external, fundraising, working with coaches, working with student athletes. Um, I've, I've had my hands in everything and done everything and, uh, and really enjoy it. So again, I've been, been in that position for about five years. Um, you know, there's a lot of similarities when people ask me why I'm interested in this position. Uh, number one, first and foremost, is one of the reasons is what you see in front of you. Um, support, um, the opportunity to be successful. People are passionate about it. Um, um, passionate about Bobcat athletics. Um, that's very similar to what I'm used to in at the University of Wyoming. People care and they want to be successful. And that opportunity to be successful, uh, it's here. You can see it. The pieces of the puzzle are here. It's getting all of us on the same page, putting that plan together for us to be successful and how do we do that. And that's part of, again, as I look at this, I see the pieces there. It's developing that strategic plan and getting us all moving in the right direction, setting those priorities and moving forward to be successful. I met with coaches today, assistant coaches today, faculty and staff today, student athletes today, had a facility tour, uh, all types of different donors and boosters and supporters of all levels. Um, and I'll tell you, I'm more excited now than I was at 7.15 this morning when we started. Um, so I, just, I can see it. You can see the opportunities here. You can see the, the ability for us to be successful and to become you know, what we want to be, which is that premier institution athletically, academically, uh, at the FCS level. Um, and so that all the pieces of the puzzle, like I said, are there, and the support is there, and you can see Bobcat Athletics being successful at another level and going to that next level. So I know there's no Q&A, so like I said, I'm going to come grab me, ask me questions. Um, you know, 
feel free to whatever you got, throw it at me. I've had it. I have, I've had questions all day. Uh, excited to be here. Like I said, more excited now than I was before. So thank you. Thank you for being here. I know the weather's not great, and I just appreciate you coming out. Again, I can see it just from the support here. Um, everybody's passion for the athletic department.